Convicted felon Catherine K. Aloha was back in federal court today, this time representing herself as she tries to appeal her conviction and get released on bail. The judge denied both and at times scolded the former prosecutor for her court filings. Manolo Morales reports. Since July 27th, Catherine K. Aloha has filed six handwritten filings in court arguing that she should be released on bail because her first attorney was ineffective. And she thought her second attorney, Earl Partington, had filed an appeal of her conviction, which he didn't. At one point, she also said prosecutor Michael Wheat should be removed from the case. In court on Friday, the judge told her, I'm left somewhat confused as to what your intent is. Honestly, it's just a mess right now. He added, you just can't keep filing things. That's got to stop. She told the judge, it's very difficult. I don't have access to paper, so when I'm filing these things, a lot of it has to do with what I recall. She tried to argue with the judge when he refused to release her on bail, and he immediately replied, Ms. K. Aloha, that's not going to happen. Let's deal with realities. We asked Partington why the appeal wasn't filed. The last time I talked to her about an appeal was right after her sentencing, and she wanted to think about what she wanted to do, and then I didn't hear from her for months. As for her claim that her attorney was ineffective, the deadline to file it has passed, but the judge is giving her a chance to argue why she should be allowed to file it anyway. Legal experts say she has little chance of success. She's going to have to prove that she really had no knowledge of the deadline. Uh, and in her particular case, that's difficult given that She's a former attorney. Kayla said she has already filed the motion and it's in the mail. Prosecutors will have to respond to it by the end of the month. Silbert adds that the judge had every right to scold Kayla for her filings. But I've read her filings and they are confusing uh, and the challenges she's making are unclear. So I think Judge Seabright was somewhat um, concerned about the number of filings and wanted to clarify what they really were about. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.